So if you follow our channel, you know the other day that we ordered a Stratosphere Les Paul Studio Tribute. And it came to us and we did a live unboxing video. We'll put the little link to it up there. So here it is. It's finished. It's got Dylan pickups in it. It's got a bunch of stuff in it. We'll get to that in a minute. The real question, though, that a lot of people want to know is, is a Stratosphere build worth it? Or is it overpriced? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. The bottom line is... I didn't have a Les Paul a week ago, and now I do. So, I'll tell you what, before we talk about the dollars and cents and all that sort of stuff, if this is really worth it or not, let's go ahead and jump back in time until this was just a body with no nothing in it, and show you what we did to get to this point. Uh, what are we gonna do to make this thing into a real guitar? Let's look at some of the parts that we got uh, to make this thing actually really cool. Come on, let me check it out. First of all, let's start with tuners. I got the Klusen Revolution tuners. Now these are a die cast tuner, but they have like the vintage footprint, so they'll bolt right in. This is the Klusen lightweight tailpiece, and this is a Klusen Nashville style bridge. This will bolt, this will drop right on. You know, jack plates always crack, those plastic jack plates a lot of times. So go ahead and go with a metal one. Speaking of metal stuff, go ahead and go with uh, a metal pickup ring. So I will tell you that when we do these project guitars like the $200 Squire, the $200 Squire Strat, um, this guitar, we do sell them when they're done. You have to f kind of pay attention over on our Facebook page and on our Instagram, um, as well as on our Patreon, because we do sell them. This guitar, believe it or not, is already sold before we ever even shoot the video because people are like, I'm gonna want that when you're done. So if you ever see an announcement of a project and you're interested in it, or you say, hey, if you built this project, I would buy it because I want one of those, then we use it in a couple of videos and we sell it to you. So that being said, I actually got this pick guard uh, just because I figured some people want them, some people don't. We'll just get the bracket in the pick guard, we'll throw it in. I'm not gonna put it on the guitar, but if they want it, they can use it. Let's move on to electronics. Now. Uh, the knobs, the pots and caps and everything aren't here. Normally I would do all that stuff in house. However, I wanted to share with you JerseyShoreGuitarGarage.com. Uh, we'll put a title right here and we'll put a link to it in the description below. Um, Jimmy makes really, really cool stuff. He makes really nice drop-in upgrades for Epiphones and for Gibsons. So short shaft and long shaft. We're going to do a Jimmy Page wiring harness in here with all the cool stuff. Now I paid for this stuff, he didn't send it to me, this is not like a sponsored video or anything. I'm telling you, it's good stuff, and it is a upgrade that I would do if I had a Les Paul. So, I do, and so we are. To go along with that, I wound us a set of our center punch pickups, and um, these pickups are made to coil split, because they don't have a volume drop when you coil split them. So. This, with Jimmy's Jersey Shore Guitar Garage Jimmy Page harness, is the bomb. I think this whole package is going to be pretty awesome. That wiring is not here yet, but I'm thinking that if we start on this project now, uh, let's start with tuners. By the time we get down to the wiring, uh, the mail will have come and brought us all the rest of it. I don't know why this is going to be so satisfying, but I've been looking forward all day to having you guys with me because I wanted to stick this on here so bad. I don't know why there's something about sticking stuff on stuff. Now the switch won't get here until later, but I don't know, for some reason it's just satisfying to stick stuff. So there you go. Okay, so it is has become the next day, so it's Saturday night, but we did get our Jersey Shore Guitar Garage wiring harness in the mail. So we're gonna go ahead and drop this thing in. Comes with all the wires, comes with a wiring diagram, and color-coded and all that sort of stuff. It's kind of cool. He actually puts the color of each wire on each pole so you know where to put everything. 
and provides you with wires. Switch is off. This is the optional Switchcraft proper switch. So I think we've got everything we need to go ahead and put this baby together. I think we're down to installing our bridge and our tailpiece. Let's go ahead and put some strings on this thing. Well, there we go. We have the Gibson Less Than Paul project completely assembled. Now we need to go ahead and do a setup on it and make sure everything works properly, but we're basically complete there. All right, so now that we've kind of gone through the process of putting this thing together and we've got a whole guitar, we need to talk about kind of, well, the big question, is it worth it? Uh, a couple of main questions actually before we get to the cost is A, what are they? To the best of my investigation, these are actually brand new guitars that are bought from Gibson and then they are like just disassembled and parted out. Apparently they make more money taking the stuff apart and sending it out to other people, uh, selling it separately. They are not seconds, they are not there's nothing wrong with the guitar. The fretwork is perfect. Everything is great. There was nothing wrong with it. The only little thing that I had to kind of mess with is because the guitar was disassembled at some point, one of the little uh, screws that holds a tuner on was a little bit stripped out. So I had to fix one hole. And I think that's just because, you know, those are small screws, small threaded wood, you know, kind of easy to mess up. So I had to fix that one thing, uh, full disclosure. That was the one little quote unquote damage, but uh, free shipping, as you saw in the unboxing video, I, it came to me with no damage, no problems, nothing like that. Let's just get all that out of the way. It is a good product when I got it to me in the box. The value of building something like this into a whole guitar. The guitar cost $500. Let's break down a list and what everything cost. Dylan Tox Tone, Center Punch Pickups, $249. Jimmy Page wiring harness with paper and oil caps, with a proper switchcraft switch, with all of the really good parts. Um, everything, high-end, proper stuff, $82. From Jersey Shore Guitar Garage in Florida. We used a Nashville bridge by Clusen, $32. We used an ultralight aluminum Nashville tailpiece, $32. We used metal pickup rings, about $8. All the screws to do everything was about $8. Knobs for the guitar were about $8. We used Clusen Revolution 19 to 1 uh, tuners that look kind of vintagey but still are die cast and have really nice mechanisms to them. $65-ish. And then if you were going to do this yourself, that's about what it would be. It turns out to be somewhere right around, give or take, depending on where you get the stuff, right around 500 bucks for the parts. There's ways that you could do this more on a budget. You could use cheaper pickups. You could use a very basic wiring harness with just volume, volume, tone, tone, and a couple of capacitors and a cheaper switch and that sort of stuff. You could use plastic pickup rings. And of course, you could use a more budget tuner and get your costs down. My idea with this build was to have a guitar when I was done that was not only great and sounded awesome, also kind of had already all the upgrades done that you would do to one of these if you bought it. So the question is, a thousand bucks into one of these, is it worth it? Well, I went on Zounds this morning and this guitar was $11.99 from Zounds with a case. Right now, I don't have a case, so I gotta spend about another hundred bucks to get a case. So let's call it, I'd be 1100 bucks into it with a case. That doesn't seem worth it on the face of it. However, let's think about the cost of all of these mods that we would do to a guitar if we were to buy it anyway. This guitar is fully upgraded. All of the little bits and bobs that you would want to do to a stock guitar are already done for a little bit less than the price of the guitar when it was brand new. I think it's a really good deal. So is it worth it? Well, it kind of depends on who you are and what you're looking for in a guitar. What I'm gonna do, if you're interested in doing this, is I'm gonna put together a package of pickups and wiring 
and bridges and all that sort of stuff, you can just shoot me a message in the comments or shoot me an email. We'll put our email in the description below. And if you're interested in putting something like this together where you wanted to just go pick one of these and have it shipped to your house and then wanted a package put together to where we could like assemble all the parts for you and save a few bucks instead of you just going out individually um, and ordering all the stuff from Stu Mac and all the other companies on, you know, everywhere. Um, you could do that as well. The other thing I'm thinking about doing is if you want to do this, then we would actually build this guitar for you. That thousand bucks for that guitar right there, done. Labor, everything, done, everything. Turnkey, the only thing you gotta do is buy a case and pay the shipping. So you would have a fully modded Les Paul Studio Tribute to your door for cost of a new one plus shipping or maybe a little less right around there, just depends on how you optioned it out. I think it's really cool. If you wanted to really save yourself some money, uh, we put a bunch of links to the Amazon, all parts where you could get all this stuff on Amazon and really try to save yourself some money and really come up with a sweet budget real 2019 Les Paul. The cool part is, is it's not just these ones. They have customs, they have uh, standards, they have all kinds of stuff. And for about $500 over what you paid on the website, you could have a really nice Les Paul or we could build it for you. I think it's really cool. In our next video, what we're gonna do, I, I wanted to kind of get into the dollars and the cents and is this really worth it? I think it is if you're the right person. I don't know if it's worth it to everybody, but for the right person and the right guitar and the right build, it really does make sense. Now, we didn't get too much into the details of this particular guitar, so let's talk about that real quick. And then in our next video, I'm gonna actually go through this thing and demo all the stuff that this thing does and why it is way cooler than just a regular stock one of these that you would get at the store. Because the Jimmy Page wiring harness by Jersey Shore Guitar Garage is so cool. Coil splits on both pickups, a series uh, push-pull, as well as a phase flip. So cool. And it's got the clear cover on the back. I mean, we went all out with this thing. Paper and oil caps, the proper Switchcraft switch, the long one, just like a regular Les Paul, and amber knobs. This is really, really slick. And then we wound up a set of our center punch pickups that are specifically made to coil split in a situation exactly like this. This guitar is the proper package to go all together. Super, super cool. And then of course the tuners are great. We really went all out on this build and I really think uh, that you're really gonna enjoy hearing it. So in our next video, probably in a few days or so, I'll upload a, a demo video of all the little features and all the little tones and all the stuff that this thing does and really get your brain thinking about, hmm, if I built one of these, what would I do, right? What, what modifications would be important to me? This video was in no way, or this series or anything, was in no way sponsored by anybody. I paid full price for the body and the neck. I paid full price for the wiring from Jersey Shore Guitar Garage. Um, of course, I'm a Klusen dealer, so I got all the parts from, from uh, WD Music because I'm a Klusen dealer. So, it worked out pretty good. If you have questions about this, or you wanna do this in some way, shape, or form, or mix and match, or whatever, let me know, and I'll help you put a package together, because I think this is really, really cool. We'll see you soon uh, on our next video where we kind of go through specifically the tones and the features and every little thing about this guitar and why I think it's so cool.